Welcome to Clayton Shook Outdoors. It's early morning. Still uh, early ice, beauty day. Like right now it is minus two. It's early. Coyotes giving her, I don't even know what time it is. Five, 5.30, something like that. I'm gonna get set up for the day of walleye fishing. Uh, last episode, I connected with a bunch of different species, a big burbot, medium pike, small pike, I guess, and a medium-sized walleye. So hopefully today is a day, fingers crossed. I'm out here nice and early, a couple holes drilled, get the Otter X over set up and let's get her. Somebody get me an electric auger. I need a new Strike Master, 10 incher. That'd be amazing. Somebody should get me a headlamp too. That's in the truck. Silly, silly Clayton. How many poles today? It's warm. I'm gonna say one pole. Oh, no. Two poles, two poles. I've got my measuring board here. In the Otter Lodge, that size, and probably some of the other flip overs that are that size, I like to drill my holes 28 inches apart. That gives me enough room to kind of keep everything in there and it's still far enough away that I can fish a dead stick without getting in the way too much with my active bait. So around approximately that 28 inches, you know, even like this is a 30 inch board. Hope I catch something bigger than that today. This is like a 30 inch board, so even something like that. If I put it down right now, I know approximately that's about where I want my edge of the hole to be. early season for sure. I love just getting all the slush away because the ice is so clear and you can see all the fish swim underneath. And all this slush and ice that you just filled over, if you get rid of it now, it's gonna make less of a mess in your shack later. Super simple, basic. I will convert it over to use the side doors. I used it uh, for the first time the other day. It was so handy having that side door to just step in and out. Nothing got in the way ever. It was amazing. Hands down, my favorite new feature otters come out with in the last couple of years. It's awesome. Fogging up, I'm ready to go fishing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's get my dead stick ready. And there is a big fish down there. It's coming, he's coming. Come on. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh boy. Okay. I was getting my dead sticks ready. Also, look down, there's a big mark down there. Good mark. Good mark. Good fish. Really good fish. Really squirrely. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna get my heater shut off. Oh boy, I'm nervous. Oh, it's a big walleye. It's a big walleye. It's a big walleye. It's a big walleye. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh yes. Oh no, 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 no. Nice fish. Oh, when they fight under that ice, is that ever epic? Oh, don't do it to me, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh, it's barely hooked. It's barely hooked, yes. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, what a way to start the day. Not super long, super chunky though. Oh, so good, so good. Look at that barely hooked. Oh, that could have popped out so easy. Look how easy that came out. Oh, I got so lucky to keep, keep that fish on. What a great start to the day right there. Unbelievable. Yeah, baby, this is why you get out nice and early. So good, back in like 25 inches, not even gonna measure it right now. Keep, <laughs> All charged up, ready to go. <laughs> See it. I was literally just getting the dead stick ready. This bait was just falling down there. It was sitting on the bottom. I looked over and there's a mark there. Oh, so epic. So epic. I gotta get down there again. I'm just shaking. I'm just shaking. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh, just vibrating. Ooh, so good, so good. I just love fishing for big walleyes. Like, it's one of my favorite fish to target, especially early ice, like get out here now, 
now till the end of end of December. This is the time to do it. Do it. Show some commitment. Buy the ring. Let's go. Yes. 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 Oh, the mark just separated. It's not as big as I thought. I was just going to change baits to a, a flutter spoon, possibly. And I got crushed. But I am going to keep this one since I'm going home at the end of the day. It is like a big fat lie. There we go. Supper or lunch tomorrow, maybe. Maybe lunch tomorrow by the time I get home. Yeah, baby. I don't know in fishing if there's anything more exciting than that initial hook set. That hook set is just so addicting. Oh, <laughs> that spoon was free falling to the bottom. Okay, okay, okay. And like I said in my last video, don't get married to one bait. I literally just switched over to uh, a Northland flutter spoon there because, oh, because I wasn't getting a fish to finish on that uh, hyperglide. But there we go. Nice walleye. He, I want, I want to keep one more to eat. He's, he's borderline. We're going to go, he's got to be 18 inches or younger. He's 18 inches, so we're going to keep him for our second fish for a meal. Fish tacos tomorrow, baby. Yeah. From now to the end of December is like <laughs> my favorite time to fish walleye through the ice. Once it gets colder, they tend to go deep. And they're really, really hard to target. You can catch a couple here and there. First light, last light, if you put yourself in the right position. But I like to transition over into some lake trout later in the winter. Maybe some pike as well. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Left-handed hook set. Doesn't feel very big. Ooh, not a bad fish. Too big to keep, that's for sure. Nice fish. Nice fish. Got people drilling holes all around me right now. People moving in. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come here. As you can tell I'm not in a super hurry to grab them if I don't have to. Choked it. Choked it, choked it, choked it. I'm going to show you what I did to the spoon right away. So you can run a little bit of bait on it. Helps out quite nice. There we go. Nice walleye. Nice Wally. Wally. Look at them. Look how beautiful they are. So big. Beautiful. See ya. So, this spoon, it's a uh, flutter spoon, buckshot, Northland buckshot flutter spoon. And I put a little clip in here just to kind of extend a little bit a lot of times these spoons when they have your your uh, hook really really tight and the fish spins on it they get a lot of leverage this is going to increase your landing percentage they don't have as much leverage and that little bit of bait that just kind of hangs down there i got a little eyeball on it right now which is one of my favorite baits because it stays on so it's been good it's good morning good morning hope this day continues it's very very good just looking for a toad looking for the mama Oh, 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 that fish crushed it when it was just sitting there, just pausing, pause, 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 boom. Oh, yes, yes, that's a big mark. That's that big mark. It's a good walleye. It's a good walleye. He just came up. He just came up so fast. Like he hit it and come straight up. He hit it and come straight up at it. That's all I could do to catch up to him. I wasn't sure if it was a walleye at first. I thought maybe a pike. That was unreal. He, when he finally smoked it, I had him come in, play around with me for a bit. Oh, it's not a giant. 
I say that way too much. It's always, it's not a giant. Come on, Clayton, get some new lines. But it's a nice fish. Oh, don't come up tail first. I'll grab you if you have to, if I have to. That thing took forever to hit. When it did, it just crushed it and then come straight up at it. Do I have to grab you by the tail? Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yes. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. Oh, baby. It is 11, 16 a.m. You don't always have to just focus on an early morning bite or an evening bite. You can catch these fish early ice all day long. Sometimes. Oh, beauty fish. Wow, I'm going to get a measure on that one. That's that... Uh, buckshot flutter spoon before i was using let's get a quick quick measure on it nice fish Jeez, it seems bigger than that that's only a 25 inch fish it seems way bigger than 25 inches because it's just so fat <laughs> oh i want to catch a 30 incher with that girth baby so good love it so good big see a girl oh there she goes there she goes just need a little tail touch Ooh. oh yes there we go i've had a little bit of a lull for the day it's already two but I just caught, oh, got off of the hole. As you can see, I wasn't super interested. There's a super, super good lesson though, really. So when you're fighting a fish and say it's a bigger fish, I'll grab my other camera for this. As you can see on the GoPro, my hook got caught on the bottom of the hole. If uh, you can't see in the GoPro, I'm not putting this on the video anyway. But my hook was caught. I'll put it on the, for camera purposes, I'll put it on this side, on this on this side over here. It was caught on the bottom of the hole. And then, so when it has tension like that, the fish can easily just kind of pop itself off. Like, no problem, right? Because something else is holding the hook, so it can pop itself off easy. So when you're fighting the fish, and it's getting close to the edges, Get your rod down a little bit. Make sure it comes up the hole straight. Don't horse it too bad once it gets really, really close to the hole. Because a lot of times, especially with a treble hook, you'll have a hook sticking outside of the edge of his mouth there somewhere, and that'll get caught on the edge of the hole. So there's a hot tip for you. Obviously, I wasn't too excited about that fish. I never even got off my chair. It wasn't a monster. Or else it was a bigger fish. I would have controlled it at the hull more and then waited for the right opportunity to pull it straight up. So that is a cool little lesson right there that you can take that. To the bank. Is that not the worst saying ever? You can take that to the bank. So these things right here, Cisco, I just caught this one, Tulabi. This is what the walleye are following around and they're eating. Now maybe they're not eating the ones that are this big, but they'll eat the ones that are a little bit smaller. You don't catch the really tiny ones because they're looking for a really small meal. These ones you'll catch incidentally on your jigging spoons or jigs that you're using for walleye. So find these things and stick around because a walleye will be, he's trying to flop on me. And the walleye will be not far behind. And these things are super fun to target. I've got a video here. I'll link it right up there in the cards. You can go check it out after. It'll also be in the description below. I've got a video targeting these things. They're super, super fun. You can smash a pile of them in the winter. And they make great laker and uh, pike bait as well. And burbot. Yeah, guys some guys all around me here i don't know if you can pick up their voices on the video or not but you can it's not a big deal they uh they were out in this area yesterday it sounded like when i got here this morning there was nobody here and i set up and then uh they all came later and all just all around me just dropped on a different spoon Oh, he just crushed it. Like, I just got that spoon down there. First first drop with it. Maybe it'll be a sign of some things to come. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. This thing just piled it. Piled it. I've got, This one's hooked really, really deep. Nice 
Nice walleye right there. Let's get him back quick. Ooh, yes, there we go. There we go. Ooh. Oh, this is a better fish. This is a better fish. It's dark. It's 536. No, don't come up on me so fast. Don't come up on me so fast. Okay, transducer's out. Through my other. Oh, this is a better fish. This is a great way. Right here. Oh, yes, it's a good fish. Good fight. Oh, baby. Look at it over there in that hole, too. Okay. Heart pumping. This is a good fish. This is my biggest of the day, for sure. Oh. Still, it's not a... It's not a great big one, but it's a nice fish. Oh, look at it underneath the ice. Look at this, how cool this is. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. It's got my, it's just got a mess. My other. Oh, baby. It's got my other line all wrapped up. I've got a disaster off of there, but that's okay. We'll pop the hole quick. Pop the hook quick. <laughs> Look at that. Yes! <laughs> that's an awesome fish. <laughs> beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. What a beauty fish. Right here, this is why you fish first ice walleyes. So amazing. Yeah. Let's get her back home. <laughs> Beauty fish. Beauty fish. Mm. Okay, that's gonna wrap up today. It was a pretty good day. No super monsters. I did catch some very respectable walleye. I think the biggest thing when it comes to first ice is don't be scared if people crowd you and they get on tighty, tight with you. There's lots of fish to go around. But on the same note, if you see somebody fish in the area, don't go right beside them. Get 100 yards away from them even. Don't compete for the same fish. So you'll go from catching, you know, instead of catching 10 fish, maybe you'll catch 30 fish. But if there's four or five of you guys in an area and there's a bunch of, you know, there's 50 fish biting in that area, you're not going to put up the same numbers as you would if you fished away from people. Plus you get to learn new water too. If you, if you know that those people are catching a bunch of big fish, keep note where they are and try next time when they're not there. But try to stay away from the crowds. The same note as somebody crowds you, just be a better fisherman, which isn't always easy. I'm definitely not. I'm pretty sure those guys caught some big fish today. It's the way it goes, right? So let's keep these videos rolling. I'm sure you can take something away from today. I was kind of all over the field with today. Used a bunch of different baits, talked about early ice, talked, I don't even know what I talked about. So yeah. Got to get home, do some editing, and then get back out uh, after some more walleye. I want to catch some big walleye yet on the ice. Not like these fish weren't big, but I want to catch something. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.